So recently I made a reaction to a clip from the movie The Devil's Brigade, a movie that looked at that fearsome unit that combined Canadian and American soldiers in World War II to great success. I watched the movie where the Canadians arrive, they're playing Scotland the Brave on the bagpipes. It looks like a really great movie. A lot of people had great comments about it as well, saying how they loved the movie. And a lot of people recommended this one. It's a, another scene from the movie called Barbro. Uh, so yeah, tell me if you remember this scene in particular. Tell me what, it, what, what you think about it as well. Tell me more about the movie. Tell me more about your favorite scene. Uh, and yeah, tell me more about the Devil's Brigade. Let's watch. <laughs> Hey, Prop Beauty, why don't you sit down and have a drink with some nice, clean-cut American boys? Where are they? I don't see them. You know, they're fraternizing with the Canucks. That comes under the heading of treason. All right, bus cars. You can't fight nature. Now, just what's that supposed to mean? Miss Kleinschmidt's a lady. Ladies associate with gentlemen, not baboons. All right, take it easy, man, Matt. You got all night, my friend. I'm in a hurry. When this bottle is empty, I'm going to break it over his head, and then I'm going to wipe him out. How come a big man like you thinks so small? Let's wipe out the whole mother-loving bunch. Now you're talking. All right, Come on, let's do right. it. Come on. Was there really this tension between Americans and Canadians? We've seen it a little bit on that first video, but obviously... I think that's what they're trying to allude to here. Was there any sort of tension between them, or were they just did they just get on when they joined the Devils Brigade? But I got digs on Peacock. That pretty Peacock is mine. Hey, somebody put a nickel in a jukebox and turn off that dame. <laughs> you always break the kindest heart with a I love you. It's a very like old movie type of kiss. It's like that embrace. Now you owe me a drink. Hey, fellas, we better invade it. Hey, what do you speak, Eskimo? I said you owe me a drink. Well, you get that drink, Eskimo, the minute hell freezes. Who do you think you are? All right, don't we? Let it pass. Now, come on, lads, move down the bar. Give them some room now. Still got the kill one. Yeah, look who we got here. Hey, there, your petticoat showing. Hey, Mary, who's your girlfriend? Who does what to who? It's optional, mate. Oh, shut your big ugly face. Oh, face. come on, Mary. Oh, now you put me down. Oh, don't be so particular. Can't you take a hint, mate? I could take a dozen chickens like you and eat them alive. Now, look, friend, we're here for a good time, the same as you. Let's not spoil it, eh? Hey? Now, what are you going to have to drink? Bartender. We'll buy our own drinks. Now, you got a hell of a nerve barging in here taking our broads. Any of you guys invite them? No! no. It's dead Canucks. So you weren't invited. So what do we do about that? Give me another drink. Hey! What we do is you clear out or we throw you out. Now, what's it gonna be? Oh, don't waste your time all with right, this all guy. Right, Come on. Find another bar. Finish your drink. We'll finish your drink. Let's go. You made a wise decision. Now, uh, uh, could, wait, could this bring them together? Excuse me, but I'd like to clear up a little misunderstanding. You see, the Canadians would be happy to accommodate you, but they can't because they're under orders and they're not allowed to fight. Am I getting through? 
Nobody invited the Canucks. But what burns me, Big Mouth, is just who the hell invited you. Oh. <laughs> it's a Christmas thing as well. on the bar with a kilt on that's even more Scottish than I could ever dream to be I love it, I like that representation it is quite a fair representation of someone with Scottish roots uh, but interesting that shot in particular <laughs> he's wearing underwear under there as well Pandemonium. <laughs> Tell me more about that guy. <laughs> Even the military police got hit. That's teamwork. That was definitely one of the most mental bar fights I've seen in a movie. Really good, great choreography there, but yeah, a good way, I guess. It, I don't know if that's like an important part in the movie. It seems like it when, obviously, that is how it brings the Americans and Canadians together, seemingly. Uh, really cool, man. Tell me more about the actors. I don't really know actors of that time too much, and especially in this mo movie, I don't really recognize anybody. So tell me, were they famous actors? You can see, like, already, like, although there wasn't a huge amount of dialogue there, you can still see the characters and what they're going to be like. Seem like cool guys, good good actors, uh, great characters. And, yeah, again, seeing this again, it makes me really, really want to see this movie. It looks really good. Again, after learning about the Devil's Brigade and their success in the war, I think this sort of movie, I don't know how true to life it is. As I said, I don't know if there was tension between the Americans and Canadians. Uh, I don't know if it's taking like uh, some, it's exaggerating maybe certain points, but it would be good to see how they all came together, see what they went through, and yeah, it makes me want to see that movie. So tell me what you think about this. Was that the best bar brawl you've ever seen in a movie? Uh, and keep recommending more from this movie. Thanks.